Garage goals are a thing and a huge thing at that. And today we are trying to get our boiler hooked up so we can reach one of my garage goals of a heated garage where I can wash a car in the winter, wash all that nasty road salt off of it in the winter every day if I want. Um, and so getting a heated garage was one of my big goals for that. So in the last episode, we got everything hung on the wall. In today's episode, we are plumbing, filling, and turning on this system, hopefully. Let's get to it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detached Garage. We are gonna get a temperature check here. It is 51 degrees in the garage right now. And this coming week, it is going to get cold. We're gonna have lows in the teens and highs in the 20s. So getting this boiler hooked up today is going to be a huge deal. So let's flip the camera around, show you where we're starting and what we need to do. So huge progress last episode. We've got everything hung on the wall. We've got the boiler, we've got the panel, and we've got this mounted. Now, I think we might need to take a few steps back uh, to go a few steps forward, or at least one step back. I believe we're gonna have to take this panel off to be able to uh, ground this gas line. Uh, so the gas line runs from our existing meter over here underground through a plastic pipe, and then we're transitioning back to metal. Since that is not grounded anymore because the plastic pipe is touching the ground, we need to run a ground to this pipe and uh, then connect it to the ground uh, for the entire building. So what we're going to do is we will... Um, take this panel off, we'll take the, uh, the manifold off, and we will uh, run that to the outside, run it in and route it over here to the panel so we can do that. Then, once we put that back on the wall, we are looking at plumbing. So, I think the first thing we are going to do is we are going to mount the tank here um, and get all of that mounted and then do all of our copper. And so the reason we're going to do that is because we can work on other things at the same time. And so we can fill the tank, we can get the glycol in, and we can get it going. Um, and then we can start cycling the pump to get all of the air out. While that is cycling and filling the system and kind of running through to get all the air out, then what we can do is run the gas line. And then what else we can do is um, run the PVC out the wall uh, so we can get this thing turned on and not suffer from carbon monoxide poisoning. So let's, uh, let's get started. All right, guys, so big step here. We have everything plumbed and we have filled the entire system. So Blue Ridge Company makes it super easy with this automatic fill system. So you basically mix your water glycol, put it into this tank, and then this pump pumps through the entire system to get all the air out of the system. So um, we've put roughly 
10 gallons of glycol and 10 gallons of water in, so 20 gallons total. Uh, we calculated our system to be basically 23 and a half gallons. So we're gonna see this, uh, this level keep coming down a little bit. So the entire system is closed. We're pumping through. We are gonna let this run for a few hours. And then uh, we're gonna work on finishing, hooking up the electrical and running the gas line and then getting the uh, PVC out the side. So let's keep this running and get to work on the next step. Well guys, what a day. We got so, so close to being able to fire this thing up, but we did get it completely filled. We've been running this pump for a long time, getting all the air out as much as you can. Uh, Blue Ridge Company said to run it for roughly like six hours to just try and get every little last bubble out, get as much oxygen out as you possibly can um, before you then connect it to the boiler and get the boiler and everything like that. So. Um, we are fully purged. We've got this, been running this thing for four hours. We will start it back up when we go to get all the boiler hooked up. So let me flip this around. I'll show you what we are lacking still before we can officially fire the boiler up. So the aftermath of three Home Depot runs and uh, just some hustling at the end here. But uh, what we've got is um, the system itself is fully um uh, we've got all the fluid in the system. So this level isn't dropping anymore. I mean, when we turn the pump on, the level drops a little bit to uh, get the pump primed and, and get the rest of the system going. So um, we've got all of that. All of the pecs in the floor is essentially filled. What we are lacking right now is the electrical. So we've still got uh, to put the breakers in the box and get all that hooked up and um, get this uh, outlet live, basically. We ran an extension cord from that outlet over there, over here. So we've gotta get the breakers in the box, get all that hooked up, and then we've gotta get the relay mounted and the thermostat mounted um, and get both of those hooked up and get this pump hooked up to the relay. So once we get all of that done, then we can fire the boiler up. We were able to get the two PVC lines run out, both intake and exhaust. Those are all outside. Um, we'd still have to do the turn up and turn down, uh, turn up on the exhaust and turn down on the intake. And so we've got to get that done, electrical, relay, thermostat, and everything wired up, and then we can fire this thing up. We just ran out of time tonight. So a huge thank you to Blue Ridge Systems, our sponsor again, and a huge thank you to my buddy Brad for coming over and helping uh, get this as far along as we did. So um, unfortunately, I was hoping to fire this thing up and get it going, because uh, we do have some of those uh, very cold nights in the teens and highs in the 20s coming up this week but we will get that uh, hopefully, probably Tuesday this week, uh, we'll hopefully get everything fired up. So that will be part three, and we will get this thing fired up. Uh, if you have any questions on what we did with the ProPress fittings, with uh, the gas line, anything like that, uh, please let me know. Uh, put that down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Detach Garage. I hope uh, this, um, video series encourages you to do a DIY boiler system. 
um, with a little bit of help some, from some mechanically apt friends. So thanks again for watching Detach Garage. Again, if you have any questions, please put those down in the comments below. I hope to catch you on the next episode.